Hey guys, it's Ariana. Today I'm going to be filming a pretty requested video and um, I'm going to be talking about the Warped Tour lineup for this year. Like when it got announced, um, if I, when I was on Twitter or like Instagram, I just saw a bunch of people hating on it. Like, wow, this lineup sucks. I only know two bands or stuff like that. But um, what I say to that is you need to check out some more bands, you know? Um, sure, majority of the lineup is like hardcore bands, just a little bit of heavier music. Um, not as much pop punk as the lineup is used to, but um, there is still like lighter bands that more people could get into that they're just probably never heard of or haven't checked them out. So if you don't like the lineup, I recommend you check out some bands. I'm going to be telling you today what bands I'm planning to see, which is a lot because I saw this lineup and screamed like I love it so much. Um, also, Kevin Lyman said he likes to change up the lineup every few years too because for the past, ever since I started going, so 2014 I think, it was majority pop punk bands. So Kevin Lyman decided to change it up, you know? Um, which is cool because I know a lot of like people like heavier music love the lineup and even some like older fans, like maybe like people who are in their 30s or 40s, there's bands they want to see on the lineup too, which I think is pretty sick. I'm gonna go stage by stage and tell you guys what bands I'm planning on seeing, which is a lot. Also, I don't know what dates I'm going to for sure yet. I was gonna do the same dates as last year, but I think I might not now. I might go to like one in California and like Detroit and Buffalo, but I'm not sure. That's just maybe. I haven't really decided yet because me, my dad, and my sister like usually go on a little road trip, but I'm Pretty sure I'm going to Detroit. I don't know though, so if you want to know, I'll tell you closer to when Warped Tour is. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Journey's Left Foot stage. Yeah, so the Journey stages are a lot more of the popular bands. Also, there's some bands on here I didn't put because they're not going to the dates I'm pretty sure I'm going to, so I just didn't put them down because like, <laughs> I can't see them anyways. So, anyways. We're just gonna start. Most bands on the Journey's Left Foot stage aren't bands, like, they're not must-see bands for me, but if I have time, you know, I'd like to check them out. Um, the first one being I Prevail. I've never really gotten into them. I've listened to them a couple times, but never really got, like, heavy into them. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll listen to them some more because so many people talk about I Prevail. I should probably give them a better listen. Um, but if I have time, I'll check them out, and I'll check them out before Warp Tour. A lot of these bands I will check out more before Warp Tour. Haven't done that yet because it's April. <laughs> the next band I actually <laughs> low-key really want to see, um, that's Attila. Never seen Attila live and honestly I just really want to hear Party with the Devil live. That's like my life aspiration. I also want to see Watsky. I don't listen to Watsky. My cousin likes Watsky. So that's why I know who Watsky is. Why not check him out, you know? And I also kind of want to see CKY. I know like two or three songs. I definitely want to listen to them more before Warp Tour because I've heard lots about them, so yeah. And then also I want to see Hawthorne Heights. I hear so many people talk about them. I don't really know them. I know a couple songs. So they're not a musty band for me, but I'll listen to them some more. Then I'll see. The next band I actually do really want to see. I love their live shows. They're just really fun. Um, Never Shout Never. Who doesn't like Never Show Never? <laughs> I've seen Never Show Never a couple of times and every time was on Warp Tour, so yeah, great, okay. Um, and then I don't really care to see them, but Jewel Vera, maybe. Um, Jewel Vera is a female fronted band. I don't know what else to say. I, don't, I just, I'm not that into them, but they're pretty good. Just not like my type of music. Okay. <laughs> Next is the Journey's Right Foot stage, which is the other main stage. Um, I kind of want to see Our Last Night, but I also don't really care to, just if there's free time. I've seen Our Last Night before. It was like a pretty fun show, but not anything amazing. Their music isn't like that amazing. And Our Last Night is known for their covers, so... I recommend checking out Our Last Night. I don't know what genre they are, but it's not heavy, so... Um, Check them out if you don't like heavy music and you're looking for some bands to listen to. Then I want to see Beartooth. I've seen Beartooth like so many times, but 
I love Beartooth. Who doesn't love Beartooth? Uh, definitely want to see them again. Of course. <laughs> and then I also want to see Neck Deep again. It's been almost... No, it's been like over a year since I've seen them last. Neck Deep is so great. Why wouldn't I want to see them? And then maybe I'll see Memphis Mayfire just if there's free time. I've seen Memphis Mayfire like multiple times. I'm not as into them as I used to be. They're just like a meh band for me, so maybe I'll see them, maybe I won't. <laughs> Next is the Hard Rock stage, which is, I think, directed to more older bands because my dad, like, he knows all these bands and I know them because of my dad. So these bands are directed to an older audience. Um, so I know a lot of people are like, ew, what's the Hard Rock stage? I'm like, <laughs> there's so many good bands on this stage, but, um, I'm gonna tell you. So the first band is Municipal Waste. They're something metal. I don't remember like, if it was like thrash metal or what. I can't remember, but they're something metal. I've heard a couple songs. I have a shirt from them. My dad bought it for me because he's seen them live before and it was like Donald Trump shooting himself on the head. Um, so, you know, I'd like to see them because I have a shirt. They're pretty good out of the songs I've heard, so why not? Um, the next band I want to see, but I also don't want to die. Um, I want to see Sick of It All. I know so much Sick of It All songs, like I know so much of their music, but I'm kind of scared to see them live because I know it could get pretty wild. Um, they do have like one song, I forget what it's called. Is it called Scratch the Surface? I don't know, it starts like that. Um, <laughs> that's like the Wall of Death song, so kind of want to see them, kind of don't want to die, so if I see them, I'll just stay at the back. But then next is the Suicide Machines. I don't remember what genre they are, but I do know I know them. I don't... Like, if I heard some of their songs, I'd be like, oh, that's them, but I just, I don't know. But I know them, because my dad talks about them all the time. He just plays music in his car, and this is one of the bands, I don't remember what they play, but, um, yeah. Then lastly, from the Hard Rock stage, this is, like, the one band I would, like, I need to see off this stage, but I don't know if they're going when I'm going to Warped. Um, it's anti flag I've seen them live a couple times. One of the best live bands, in my opinion, they put on like such a great live show. They're a punk band. They hate the government. That's what they mostly sing about. If you're looking for a song to check out, check out Die for the Government. <laughs> a bop. But really, Anti Flag is such a good band. Check them out, man. Um, also, Bad Seed Rising. I've heard about them so much. I just have never got around to listening to them. They're a female fronted band. I should probably listen to them. So I'm gonna do that and then I might see them live. Who knows? Then next is Ailstorm. <laughs> they are a pirate metal band and apparently they do actually dress up as pirates. My dad just went and saw them live. <laughs> and I cry, honestly. I feel like that'd be such a fun show to go to. So I definitely want to catch their set if I can. But like, if other bands that I love are playing, I'd rather go see the bands that I love. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And then lastly from the stage, I want to see Microwave. I've listened to Microwave. Like I've listened through like their album that came out last year like once and like it was good but I never listened to it again and so many people talk about them so I'm definitely gonna listen to them more before Warp Tour. Okay next is the Full Sail stage which everyone's like oh this is the best stage um yeah I think it is a bit like I feel like it is the best stage too but the Full Sail stage every year it's so lit so like anyways every single band that I put down from the stage are must-see bands for me so starting off I Trophy eyes. I love them so much, why would I not go see them? Then next I want to see Boston Manor. I love Boston Manor. Well, that was so like sassy. Um, but yeah, they put on a great live show. I want to see them again. Um, then I want to see Creeper. They just put out an album and it was really lit. Love Creeper. Um, I was going to see them last time they came, which was like their tour with water parks. I had tickets, but I just didn't go, so great. And then this is like one of the bands I'm like, I need to see, and that's Knocked Loose. I love Knocked Loose so much. I just saw them live last month, I think. Um, they're great. I love them. Okay, I didn't like say any of the genres of these bands. Trophy Eyes, I have no fucking clue. Pop punk, emo influences, I don't even know. Boston Manor is pop punk. Creeper, I don't even know. They're kind of like um, the Misfits, so whatever genre that is. <laughs> and then Knocked Loose. Hardcore? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then lastly from the stage, I want to see Movements. No idea. They're kind of like rock, spoken word-ish. 
I don't know. I love them. I want to see them again. Okay, so lastly are the monster stages, which has a lot of the heavy bands, which... <laughs> Honestly, living for. So first is Monster Mutant North stage. Um, the first band I want to see is Stick to Your Guns. I only know the EP that came out, I think, was it last year? I don't know. I think I only... Did it come out last year? Anyways, I only know the, the last EP they came out with, so I definitely need to check out more of their music, but I do love that EP, so I definitely want to see them live. Silent Planet, I've been dying to see them live. I have yet to see them live. <laughs> Every time that like I'm like, oh, I can see them, it just like doesn't work out, so... I'll finally get to see Silent Planet. Next band I want to see is Fit for a King. Haven't seen them live yet. I'd love to see them live. Um, counterparts, definitely want to see them live. I just saw them live for the first time like a week ago. Yeah, I think it was a week ago. And when I was seeing them, something really tragic happened. Um, this person was stage diving and the guy in front of me, I don't know, he was too much of a pussy to catch the guy, so he pushed me out of the way so he could get out of the way, and I slid across the whole mosh pit and my back was like bruised. So tragic time. The Acacia Stream, love to see them live, and Being as an Ocean, I've seen them live multiple times. I've never gotten like heavily into their music, don't know why, but I definitely should listen to them more. They're a good band, I like, I enjoy seeing them live, so why not see them live again? And then lastly is the Monster Mutant South stage. So starting off we have Silverstein. Love Silverstein. Um, if you're not that into heavy bands, I recommend checking out Silverstein because they're not that heavy, really, at all. They have like singing choruses. Next is Sworn In. I'll finally get to see them live. I'm so excited. Sworn In is a great band. Um, I recommend checking out Ali Ali Oxen Free, Sunshine, Snake Eyes. All great songs, really. Then Carnifex, I want to see them live. I've never seen Carnifex live, so I definitely want to see them. And then Hundredth, I've seen them live before. I never really like got into their music, so I'll have to listen to it some more. But um, I'll definitely do that before Warped. And then there's one more band left, and they are one of my favorite live bands. I have like the most fun at their shows, and that is Bless the Fall. I also recommend checking them out too if you're not that into heavy music. Their music isn't that heavy. But yeah, those are all the bands I want to see at Warped. Honestly, just check out some new bands <laughs> if you don't like the Warped lineup. You can check out some of the bands I mentioned. I did a really bad job at explaining the genres of bands and stuff because I forgot. It's moments like these. I'm really happy I have a very diverse music taste. But like diverse as in like, I like pop punk. I like metalcore. I don't know, but um, <laughs> I like both sides. So if it was an all pop punk lineup, I'd like it too, but... This is a great lineup, so really excited for Warped. Um, comment down below what band you want to see the most on Warped. I feel like that'd be cool. That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember to smile, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.